Ня! Сегодня! О! Приди, мы там пей. Окей, ребят, ты хочешь узнать больше о Bad Fingers? Come with us! Сори, я просто лежу здесь. Research has shown that dingoes have been living here in Australia for over 10,000 years and even possibly up to 18,000. Now, that's a long time guys, you've been here for a while. Dingoes are one of our apex predators mm -hmm. and they're extremely unique in the country as an apex predator because they hunt in packs. Mm. They have a lot of friends. Did you know that dingo can also come in a high variety of colors and patterns from this tricolor like turbo here, black, tan and white. We've got white, we've got tan, we've got brindle. We've got all different types of colors, don't we mate? Dingoes are super instinctual. They're also extremely flexible. Check this out. Now Turbo won't mind at all and he's not gonna be in any pain whatsoever. Let's just demonstrate how flexible these guys are. Every single joint in their body is more like that of a cat. Dingoes also grow and mature so much quicker than that of our domesticated dogs. From mental, physical and sexual maturity, these guys are leaps and bounds ahead of our breeds. Dingoes only breed once in a year, unlike our domesticated breeds. And like any other wild canine seen around the world, they have a strict pack structure that they abide by. Well, there you have it, guys.
guys, this is our video about multiple dingo facts. Mm -hmm. We hope you enjoyed it. As always, we want to leave you with two tips to help our wildlife and why not be a little bit more dingo orientated with these today. So your first conservation tip for this video is, well, not to have dingoes as dogs. Mm, it's very easy to think that these guys are super cute and cuddly and it was so cool to think that we could have the Aussie dog. But they are extremely hard to keep as pets. As we said, they are very timid and aloof by nature. They're really good at getting out and uh, well, they're just a little bit more difficult than the normal domestic canine. Yeah. And different states in Australia have different rules about them. So if you want a dog, get a dog. Exactly right. Number two, if you find yourself in the position where you're on a bit of acreage, or maybe you know someone that is, they have a few animals here and there, and maybe they're having a bit of trouble with dingoes. So hey, maybe we can look at some uh, ways to help protect those livestock without using baiting and all those sorts of older management processes. Less invasive mm -hmm. management process. So things like your Maremmas or your Guardian dog breeds, also other breeds, uh, other species, sorry, such as donkeys, um, what else do alpacas, they use? alpacas, all those sorts of things. There's heaps of things that we could do to make sure we can coexist and the environment is better off for it as well. And our products are better off for it as well. Exactly right. Otherwise guys, we'll see you in another video. Uru. Make sure you subscribe. It's down there. Or maybe this way. Subscribe. I mean, see, filming can be hard work, so I like to keep our staff um, sustained. So I put you an ice cream. Oh. Can, oh, can it's mochi. Can I have one? Mochi I'll, I'll, ice. I'll have one after I film. Yeah. Right now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have a go. They're, I, Dave and I like to try different things. Oh, oh yes, so, put yeah. that on camera, Bridge. That's a good idea. Yes. Oh no, like food. Someone else wants it. I will have one after when I finish filming. Green tea. Ooh. Yeah, we used to have That's these exactly at uni. what I want when it comes to a dessert. Something with green tea in it. It's got a liquidy middle. Oh, oh no, it's more like thing. fudgy sort of stuff. <laughs> she, she took it so much better than what I did. It gets worse. <laughs> I'm no, I'm no. I'm no. I'm no. Does that taste like fish to you?